They were taking me out of my pod. Cause I'm Riddick. Prisoner. At least that's how I felt. My muscles were confusalized, meaning paralyzed in the alien term. They had given me some sort of sedative so that way I couldn't be as aware. I remember briefly seeing the laboratory. There were all of these machines, a big white circular looking motherfucker with a laser beam. I imagine they were using it to scan my brain and look at the images as if it was a movie. And I saw some serums, blue, purple, green, red, orange. I don't know what they were for, but I was right about the damn dogs. They had some sort of species locked up in a cage that they fed. I didn't recognize them, but they looked like canine creatures, eight of them. They were kind of cute, but I couldn't focus on that. Next thing I remember, there were these doors and then all of a sudden i was walking on this platform or a hallway of some kind all of these bright fluorescent lights beaming down on my skin like a lava pit on a wednesday morning it sucked i could barely breathe there were two guards grabbing both my arms as if i didn't have any other option in the first place it's like they were dragging me but at the same time, I didn't feel drained. I just felt insecure, powerless. One of the guards pushed a big red button. Next thing you know, I'm in this room. They threw me on the bed. And then I started to deep think. So there I was. My bitch ass was in the middle of a fucking spaceship. I was trapped. And I thought to myself, why is God doing this to me again? It was cold. I had cold sweats going down my cheeks. I was in some sort of cryosleep chamber. Of course, when you're in a cryosleep chamber, your only question going through your mind is, why am I so cold? I was just in Hawaii. Now it's so cold. It means that your awareness is at its brittle point. You're about to lose it. The body has a way of freaking out before you can even say it's freaking out. That's because our immune systems are very, very sensitive to changes in temperature. But then I heard this noise. I thought maybe I was landing somewhere, about to be transported to another prison cell or another prison facility. But then I heard her voice, this female voice. I heard her say, take him to the bridge. I've never been transported to a bridge on a ship before. I'm usually at the back where the cargo is because I'm Riddick, a prisoner. But why would a prisoner like myself go to the bridge? That was the next question in my mind. Were things about to get heated? Or was I getting ready to be killed by the highest order of royalty? <laughs> 